I know many people are going to talk about Emmanuel's research and how brilliant he was. He certainly was brilliant. But I would like to talk about Emmanuel as a person, the type of friend that I knew. Like many others, when I first went to talk to Emmanuel, I was extremely nervous. I was sweating head to toe, even though it was in the middle of the winter in Massachusetts. And I was sweating because I was talking to the superstar, the famous Emmanuel Fahri, and he also seemed to be kind of serious, reserved and cold. I was lucky enough that we became friends and over the years I found out his true colors. I found out he's exactly the opposite of the first impression that I got. He was extremely warm, sensitive, caring and generous person. To give you some examples, Emmanuel helped many people find a job and I'm not talking about graduate students. And he did that by calling his personal friends and contacts. And he was so glad when somebody did find uh, a job. Recently, when we last met, he told me that a friend of his had to go through an expensive medical procedure. That friend couldn't afford the procedure, so Emmanuel just paid it in full. And I was not surprised, that's exactly the type of person Emmanuel was. When I happened to be at Harvard for a seminar during the Boston Marathon bombing day and Emmanuel found out that I'm there, he didn't let me stay by myself on that dreadful day. He walked all the way with me from Cambridge to Boston to make sure that I, I get home safely. And when we reached Boston, we found out that my building was indeed inaccessible because of the bombing. So we spent the evening together and Emmanuel was thinking like two hours, how can we overcome the Boston police? And of course, being so smart, he did find a way. And for those who know, it was down the Prudential garage and then up my building through an elevator that goes to the garage. Um, after that, after he walked me home to uh, walk me to my door safely, he went back and he almost got arrested because he was not supposed to be there. But that's a different story. And also on professional setting, I remember once he told me he's doing a referee report and I think it was for the AR. And he told me, the paper is written so poorly, I have to help that person. You would think that if the paper is written so poorly, just reject the paper, but not Emmanuel. Emmanuel actually spent time and devoted his time and knowledge to help that person write a better paper. And I even think he gave it uh, a chance in the form of a revise and resubmit. That, to me, is, is, is generosity. And he was generous in his, with his time. He was generous with his caring. He was uh, generous with his knowledge. And he was generous with his money, with any means that he had. That's Emmanuel to me. And I, I find it very difficult to believe even that he's no longer with us. And it's so sad. It's so sad because it was such a great human being and such a great friend. I miss him dearly. I cherish every moment that we uh, spend together and I only wish we had more.